Chess friends, older versions of AlphaZero had some glitches and bugs, I fixed AlphaZero's UCI coding by using Leela Zero's paper. It has become the new version of AlphaZero, AlphaZero 16. I want to tell you important thing, first thing first, AlphaZero was dismantled from Google DeepMind. There is no way to access AlphaZero. I developed a another chess engine which is slightly same as Google DeepMind AlphaZero. The difference between Google AlphaZero and my AlphaZero is Google AlphaZero is developed by DeepMind team. And my AlphaZero is developed by me. Both AlphaZero have almost same coding, because I copied the eval file of Stockfish engine in AlphaZero chess engine. This AlphaZero is almost plays like Google AlphaZero. Hope you will love this new AlphaZero. And if you want this AlphaZero to your Android or PC, comment me. If there are many comments requesting to take AlphaZero, then I will give it to you for free. You might think why this engine have 4000 rating. Because I also put the Leela Zero and Stockfish SRC coding here, Alpha Zero have Stockfish and Leela Zero's UCI coding. In fact, I was trying to do this for a long time, but it was very difficult to put Stockfish coding into Alpha Zero's engine. Anyway it was successful. You can say Alpha Zero have Stockfish and Leela's chess strategy, he knows about our move. Let's go, Knight C3 by Alpha. E5. E4. Knight F6. White have many lines. You can play Knight F3, G3, or Bishop C4. Alpha chooses to play G3. He will play Knight G E2. F4. Castle. Opening up the F file. D3. Supporting the pawn with your bishop. Knight c6. Bishop g2. Bishop b4. Knight g e2. d6. Castle. Bishop g4. h3. Bishop e6. Alpha played f4. He learned from my previous YouTube video how to expand pawns on king's side. And he applies this against me. Very ironical. He wants king h2, surrounded by his own pieces. I played bishop d7. King h2, as aspected. a5. Knight a4. Castle. a3. b5. Knight a c3. Bishop, takes c3. Taking the bishop with the knight is bad because the my knight will get d4 outpost, and I will expand my pawns to queen side. So, b takes c3. Protecting that square and preventing b4. Rook b8. d3. h6. h6 is an inaccuracy, best move was pawn takes pawn. g takes f4. Keeping king side pawns in home square. Because alpha have expansion on king side pawns, I mistakenly pushed my one pawn, now alpha can target this pawn with his pawn to break the file to get rook involvement as his long term benefit. So he played f5, because he needs the f pawn to break my king side structure. b4? g4, he starts pushing his pawns, because he is a stockfish subscriber. And chess friends, if you learn from our chess videos then you can subscribe my channel, so you will never miss your learning stuff. B takes C3. Bishop E3. Alpha can play Queen E1 to play Queen to H4. Rook E8. You might think Alpha can push his G pawn to create troubles for me. But pushing the G pawn is bad, actually. Because of H takes G5. Bishop, takes pawn. Knight g4 check, it's a check. Black is threatening the bishop. If king goes to g1. Then queen takes bishop. And your king will be very weak. Don't rush too quickly until you develop your pieces support your pawn structure and pieces together attack on your opponent's weak square. So, alpha played rook f2. 
He wants knight takes pawn, queen here. Rook g1. Knight h7. Alpha played king g3, fantastic move. I mean my man bring his king, he makes his king as an asset, to support the h4 pawn. Because black, can't check to the king, the king is totally fine behind his own structure. The queen will come there after taking the c3 pawn. Queen e7. Knight takes c3. Knight d4. h4. c6. g5. I played g6. You might think black could play h takes g5. Let me show the variation, h takes g5. White is threatening to play queen h1, queen h4. Rook h1. Seizing that file, it will be very easy to create big threads to the king. If knight takes g5 happen, then queen h5. Targeting the knight? And threatening to play rook h1. Queen h8 mate. If you play knight h7. Then rook h1. Targeting the knight and threatening mate in 1. And if you play f6 move. Then rook h1. Threatening bishop, takes, pawn takes. f6. Pawn takes pawn. Queen h8, check. Rook h7 check. And black will lose the game. And if you play knight f7. Queen h7 check. Threatening rook h7, then queen takes g7 mate. Rook takes knight. Pawn takes rook is not possible because of this. So queen f7. King e7. Rook h7. And after some moves later. White have extra piece, he will win the game. Back to the position, so I played g6. You might think f takes g6 is best move. But it's not, because of this. Queen is guarding the 7th rank. Bishop can come in e6 square to support that square and black's pieces. Bishop h3. h takes g5 still not possible. Because of h takes g5. If knight takes g5. Then f6, targeting the queen and the knight at the same time. So, I played d5. King h2. Rook e d8. Queen g1. h takes g5. h takes g5. Knight b3. c takes b3. d4. Bishop c1. d takes c3. Queen g3. Rook takes b3. Queen h4. Queen d6. Bishop f1. G takes f5. G6. Targeting the rook and the knight at the same time. Knight f6. E takes f5. Rook b2. G7. You can't take the pawn. Because there is bishop h6 check. King h7. Then you will face a fork you will lose your queen. So, I played rook takes f2 check. King g3. Alpha is threatening to play queen h8 mate. So, e4, it's a check. I played queen h2 check, sacrificing my queen as tempo. Knight g4 check. King g3. Knight takes h2. King takes h2. Bishop, takes f5. Bishop, g5. Rook, e8. Rook, c1. e takes d3. Rook takes c3. King takes g7. King, g3. Rook, e1. King, f2. Rook, a1. Bishop, takes d3. Bishop, takes d3. Rook takes d3. Rook a2 check. King e3. King g6.
Thanks for watching subscribe for more. Bye bye. Take care, see you in my next video.